Jesus, lady. You look like you've been cut by an axe. Licence. Do you know why I pulled you over? You're lonely. Got issues. Needed a friend to talk to. Hmm. Not from around here, are you? Otherwise, with a mouth like that, we'd have crossed paths before. Where are you heading? Oh, just moved here. It's my first shift tonight at the hospital as head nurse. <laughs> Running late. Hmm. Head nurse. Mm. I won't ask what that means. Or what acts you had to perform to get the title. Had anything to drink tonight, head nurse? Just one small wine with dinner, constable. <laughs> That's senior sergeant. I'm chief police officer in this district. 30 years service. Take a deep breath into the nozzle until I tell you to stop. Stop. You know, you can talk to me. If you need to. <laughs> oh, believe me, Mrs Harper. I will. Actually, it's Ms. Harper now, since my ex-husband died and left me with all his debts. Listen up, Ms. Harper, Mrs. Harper, or head nurse, whatever title you want to go by. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a shit. What I care about is you've come into my town, where I proudly wear this uniform as the senior police officer. Now, I've pulled you up because two of your three brake lights aren't working which means I'm going to take great delight in putting canary on your windscreen, which I see has got some scratches on it, which makes it also unroadworthy. Now you've run a stop sign, so that means I'm going to contribute to your deceased ex-husband's debt by issuing you a crisp new infringement notice. That'll take three points off your licence. But that won't worry you any, because you won't have a licence. You see, the breathalyzers come back a positive reading that's just put you a wee bit over the limit. You know what that means? It means you're in a shitload of trouble. Now, step out of the vehicle. Add possession of narcotics, littering. What? Fuck me. And attempted bribe. The government today unveiled its plans to boost funding for neglected facilities at the nation's hospitals. The health minister had this to say. True to our election promise, we are pleased to announce upgrade works will commence on our rundown hospitals in the near future. This will be funded by implementing new taxes, cutting childcare rebates for single parents and slashing funding for education at all levels. Our vision is to once again provide a world-class health system for all Australians including the sick.
about that light, Mr. Redman. We've asked maintenance to fix it five times already. That would be Chief Police Officer Redman. Wow, oh. Police Chief? Gee, what an honour. Were you out catching bad guys and bringing them to justice? Was it a street fight? A car chase? A shootout? You must be so brave. A real hero. No. Fell off a ladder at home while doing domestics. Men. Men. Think they're unbreakable. As soon as they hit the deck, they shatter just like porcelain candles. But not to worry, Chief. You're under my care now. And I've had lots of experience. 31 years or oh. less. Yes, sir. I promise to make your stay with us very memorable. Can I get you anything, Chief? Uh, oh. Sorry about the accommodation, Chief. However, due to overcrowding and your stature in the community, I've had you placed in this specially converted room in the basement. Here you won't be bothered by other patients, and you can make as much noise as is necessary. So rest up now and take comfort in knowing that you're my number one priority. And I intend to have you well and truly fixed in no time. Hmm. Beverly's the head nurse, you know. A real treasure. So dedicated. Chief Redmond. How are you finding the hospital food? Well, clearly you can find it. It's more a matter of shifting it from point A to point B. I can help you with that. My dear departed ex-husband used to be in transport logistics. You recall me mentioning him? Is your porridge still warm enough? Yes, I agree. It's gone cold. I'll reheat it for you. Uh, no, nurse! Ah.
Beverly, if I can call you Beverly. Now? You want to know what to call me? Where was the professional courtesy extended to me when I was in need of a break? Open. Oh. Out there on the streets, you rule the beat. In here, on these wards, this is my beat. Respect is given to all patients. They're deserved. Now this one. This one is for law and order. No, no, no. Oh. 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 The patients and staff here call me Nurse Beverly. Or some just call me Beverly or Bev. On occasion I've been known as Sister. A saint. Even Mother Teresa. But you, you can call me the Black Widow. Mm -hmm. And this one, mm -mm. this one is for justice. Chief Redmond, according to our logbook here, you haven't had a bowel movement since you've been here. Hmm. And from where I'm standing, I'd say quite some time before then, too. Hmm. Oh. 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 Blimey! Oh. What have you got in there, bricks? Yep, I reckon we're going to have to blast it out. Nurse Amy, get the dynamite. <gasps> Believe me, Chief, this time you are going to give a shit. Now, as this procedure may cause some discomfort, you need to take this little pill. No. Oh, come on now. No. You need to learn to take your medicine like a man. Open wide. Say, ah. Do you know, in the whole time you've been here, we've only had to turn away one visitor? Some little bloke seeking payment for roofing tiles. You're a lonely man. You should have taken my offer for friendship when he had the chance. I found what I could. Had to improvise as usual. The replacement units still haven't arrived. Why is his mouth tape closed? He called me a naughty word. I don't take that from anyone. Norman, that's not really nice. Especially after all she's done for you. <laughs> and don't you go taking it out on me either. <laughs> now, I hope you don't mind, Chief, but I took the liberty of inviting a busload of nursing students from the college to come and see how we do this procedure. <laughs> As you can appreciate, these young rookies need to learn from us seasoned veterans. There's no cause for concern. After all, we are all professionals here. <sighs> Nothing like a little bit of on-the-job training, so to speak. <laughs> they should be arriving any minute. Now, we're not really going to use dynamite. <laughs> Beverly was just having a little joke. 
She's such a blast. Speaking of which, I'll just go and get your magic bullet prepared. Did you boil the kettle? Yes. Now oh, it's gone lukewarm. Oh well, never mind. Really deep heated hot shake. <laughs> Lots of hot, spicy, hot curry powder. Oh. Mm. A few dashes of spicy Tabasco. <laughs> and finally, some wasabi. For that final zing. Right. I think we're about ready here. Just waiting on. Hello. Oh dear. Really? Nobody heard. an accident on the freeway. Students won't be coming. Mm. Looks like you're not the only one inconvenienced by a blocked tunnel this morning. Let's get the show on the road, eh? Okie dokie! Jesus! I'm surprised you've never fronted casualty after rollerballing in the shower. Have you ever considered having a bit of a nip and a tuck? Or maybe in your case just a nip? Mm -hmm. So how do we... Oh, you just sweep it all out of the way. I need you to breathe deeply into this nozzle until I tell you to stop. And stop! Mm -hmm. There. Nice and easy, chimpanzini. See that dotted line there? That's the recommended level. But as you can see, you're a wee bit over the limit. Do you know what that means? 
That means you're in a shitload of trouble. Brace yourself for a flood of biblical proportions. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, that's better. I bet you're feeling all warm and fuzzy inside, eh? Oh. Oh, yes, there's definitely movement at the station. Won't be long now. Let's give it a little nudge along the way, shall we? Only me. How's he going? <laughs> Gee, he feels like he's on fire. I should take his temperature. Yeah, well, see if you can get it through the tape into his mouth. The cubicle at the other end has the occupied sign displayed. Okay, time to pop the cork. Amy, would you do me the honours? Now, Chief, I need you to keep clenched. Got that? And on the count of three. And one. change the bulb. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can go home. Except, of course, the chief. But Beverly, I'm terrified of heights. Well, I can't do it. Well, the chief certainly can't. Maintenance isn't due until Friday. So up you go. Oh, but... I'll hold the ladder. You'll be fine. <sighs> Hold your horses there, Chief. Oh. Just fix this light as you'll be down in a jiff. Damn maintenance department. They are so far behind. I tell you, this bloody government and their health funding cutbacks are driving us bonkers. We are short on everything. Mm. They even cut back on the uniform allowance mm. so much that Nurse Amy here was forced to buy hers from an adult bookshop. But see how short it is. Barely covers oh. anything. politicians. <laughs> they give you the shit. Always making it hard for the working man. You know, one of these days the working man will rise up and the, the whole merry hell will break loose. And then the shit really will hit the fan.
Oh. Oh. Thank you. You should now feel like a new man. Ready to start over. And if you're ever lonely and need a friend to talk to, Oh. 